Have you ever thought about crafting with a Dollar Tree mousetrap before? Well, you guys, they are the perfect little background um, to make something with. So in this instance, we're going to use them to make a cute little envelope to add to our sign here. So all you have to do is just pull all of the um, little equipment that's on there off. And then this one actually has that little red part, the little saying, it's just a sticker. So I just peeled it off of there. Now, if you want to, you can really sand it down. I did not, I just painted it up and then grabbed my little ink pad and started distressing it. Because I, not that I want it to match the background of this Dollar Tree sign perfectly, but I want it to be a little bit similar with the distressing. So once I get that done, then I'm just gonna grab out a pencil and we're gonna make the little envelope, like the fold part that goes on the back. And just, like I said, using a pencil for that. So that's easy peasy. And then if you wanna add a little bit more distressing over the top, you can just to kind of make it blend. So they've also got these really cool little um, wooden sayings right now. So I thought this love one would be perfect. So I ended up doing that on here um, with the uh, pink paint. And then I also, the heart that I put on there on the little envelope, I painted that the same color pink. So now I want to paint the beads. So I'm just kind of pulling that up so I could get it off of there. Um, and then I'll just kind of reuse that little staple that's on there when we're done with it. I'll just kind of push it back down. But I'm just going to uh, take these beads off. And you guys, bead painting, there's so many different ways. But the easiest for me is just to use a little bag. And I just pour the paint right into the bag and then put the little beads in there and just kind of squish it around with my hand. And then once I get everything all covered up, then I just pour it out onto a paper towel and then um, just kind of rub over with the paper towel that way in case there's any you know big chunks of paint or anything like that, it'll come right off. But this is the easiest for me. I've tried a bazillion different ways and this way is just easy. It's a whole lot less mess and then when you're done, you can just throw the bag away. So love that. So once I get this all done and they dry up just a little bit, then I'll just thread them back onto um, the twine that's there and then adhere that back down so that we can hang it. And it's that simple, which I love. I love easy peasy, simple things. And this is so much less mess for me to paint this way. So I really I like that too. Um, so one thing I did do was there was a little bit more... Um, of a gap in the twine. So I kind of pulled the twine a little bit more taut so it would hang a little bit different um, once I get the beads back on there. But hey, we do it how we want, right? <laughs> All right, so here's how it turned out. I love this little vignette. I think it's coming together so stinking cool. All right, friends, thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow for more.